Okay. Hey, everybody. Uh, the microphone's a little sensitive. I can't seem to tone it down, so I'm not exactly sure. Sure. Yeah, I was making this video during a lockdown drill. I got no students in here, so it's all fine. Um, this is not going to be um, a quick introduction video. This is going to be a video for the lesson that a lot of students are going to miss um, this week. So um, it's an important lesson. Um, obviously, we'll do some practice and review when everybody gets back. But um, hopefully, this is good enough for everybody who is going to be absent this week. Uh, this is the last topic in our first half of Unit 4 on acids and bases. And it's a couple of quick calculations. It's nothing that is um, going to be more challenging than the Unit 3 solubility calculations. Those ones were tricky, but this is different. You are going to need a uh, calculator for sure, and you're going to want to get uh, comfortable finding the log button. There are going to be two formulas that we are going to use uh, to calculate pH, to calculate pOH, and then to just go um, back um, using pH to get H3O plus and using pOH to get uh, OH minus. It's the same formula, it's just an inverse operation. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Um, you should practice typing um, this equation into your calculator before we get started. You should practice um, typing in a negative, the log button, a bracket maybe, and then 1.0 times 10 to the negative 7, and a bracket. When you hit enter, uh, or equals on your calculator, it should equal 7. If you cannot type that in, try it again and again until you can get 7. That's the basic calculator skill that you are going to need. Okay? Um, some of you have an EXP button, like you already know. Some of you have a times 10 button, like you already know. Uh, most of you have an EE button uh, that you have been using in class. You'll have to go second function EE, most of you. Um, we are going to stare at the left side of the screen for now. Please ignore the red um, writing over there. I'll get to that in a bit. We're just going to start off with question number one here, which is the classic question. No tricks, nothing. This is the bare minimum of what this learning target is all about. You are given HCl. You need to understand that it's a strong acid, top six from your acid base chart. Understand that strong acids ionize 100%. And if you have 0 0.030 molar hydrochloric acid, you will have 0 0.03 molar H3O+. Because it ionizes 100%, it will make 100% products, which are Cl-, minus. that's a spectator, and H3O+. Plus. That's what we need to answer this question. When you negative log 0 0.030, you get pH. Simple as that. pH is a simple calculation that means negative log of H. Think of the P as negative log. It's, that. it's the function of that small letter P. Sig figs um, are a bigger deal in some people's classes. I am not going to grade sig figs for pH and pOH, but I have the explanation on how it works uh, over to the side. So when you are calculating a P number, pH specifically, you round your final answer to the appropriate decimal places. And you only count decimal places in a pH or a pOH number. What that means is, if your original number has two sig figs, then you only go to two decimal places in your P number. Uh, there will be four P numbers, pH, pOH, pKa, and pKw. You only count decimal places for sig figs in those P numbers. And I'm going to go back to that a lot. Okay. If you are given OH minus and you need to calculate pOH, the P means negative log of OH. So you take your OH number and you go negative log 
bracket, type in that number equals, and then you round to the appropriate significant figures. This original number has three sig figs, so we go to three decimal places. We only count decimal places for P numbers. If you need POH, you go negative log of OH, enter, and you're done. Okay. This is a very important question right here, and we are going to change the way we answer it in about five minutes. This is probably the most popular question and the reason why we're studying pH and POH in the first place. You are given NaOH. You should recognize that as a strong base. The Na plus is a spectator, and it releases or creates OH minus 100% of the time. If you need pH as a final answer, you have to take negative log of your H. You do not have H here. You do not have a number easily given for H3O+. plus. So you have to calculate it. And this is what we did the other day in class. This is what we did for our 4.3 learning target. Kw at 25 degrees is 10 to the negative 14 equals this blue expression. You're all very good at that. You are given OH minus. Your unknown is H3O plus. So you can rearrange it or just divide it in your calculator. I typed out all the work here to make this video a little faster. So KW over OH will give you your H3O. And if you want pH, you negative log H. So you can take the negative log of that number, H3O plus. So you just type it in, negative log bracket, put in that number, equals, and you round your answer to the appropriate number of decimal places. If you're good with your calculator, you can go negative log second function answer. That's what we're going to start practicing for sure in class. So negative log of that H3O is your pH. It happens to be a nice easy number, 11.000. Sometimes pHs can be negative. We'll talk more about this in class. The scale goes from 1 to 14, but those are just the common pHs. You can have negative numbers, and you can have numbers bigger than 14. Not the end of the world. We'll talk more about that in class. If you are given a concentration of H3O, then you can negative log it. 